Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled millions of stars in Omega Centauri. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a globular cluster and the largest known globular cluster. And it is about a 150 light years across. So that's relatively small considering the size of our galaxy and actually considering the number of stars within this. This one has about 10 million stars in it and all packed into a very small distance. And what that means is that had you did you live in this cluster? cluster on a planet orbiting one of these stars is that the sky would be filled with stars. There would be far more stars than we see here. The nearest star to us other than our sun is about four light years away. So this is about 150 light years and has millions of stars. So within a four light year area here, you could have many, many stars present. And depending on exactly where you are compared to the central portions of the cluster or the outer portions, you'll have more or fewer stars. But in any case, you'd have far more stars around than we're used to seeing here on Earth. Now globular clusters are some of the oldest parts of the galaxy. And in fact, there are a couple hundred of them uh, that are known around the halo of our Milky Way galaxy. And they date back to the origin of our galaxy. And in fact, they formed about 10 billion years ago. And all of the stars formed at once. And that means they used up all of the gas and dust. So when we look at our Milky Way, we see that stars still form today. In a globular cluster like this one, we don't see any signs of star formation. And that means we don't see the clusters of bright blue stars and the pink hydrogen regions that populate our own galaxy. Here we see old stars, old red stars being dominant. And those are stars like our sun that have now evolved into a red giant or red supergiant phase. And those are the stars that dominate the light of the globular cluster here. So it is one of the ways we learn about the origin of our galaxy is looking at some of these very early pieces and how they formed around our galaxy early on. And in fact, the distribution of globular clusters was one of the things that told us very early on that we were only seeing a small portion of our galaxy in the sky because the globular clusters distributed spherically around the galaxy would then showed that the center was far away from our sun and that we were only seeing the small portion of the galaxy around us because there was so much dust in our galaxy that we simply cannot see through to the other side. However, the globular clusters gave us a way to view the galaxy and to get an idea of its extent long before we had other types of measurements such as radio waves that allowed us to penetrate through the dust and get a better view of our own galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for June the 3rd of 2021. It was titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon monsters. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.